Hello, everybody. Come with me and my readers, Sean, Lucy, Cora, Andrew, and another Andrew. I'm going to show you how to shop in a Korean grocery store and choose the best of the best. Let's look for Korean noodles, powders, grains, beans, and seaweed. There are many kinds of noodles. You know, these are all wheat noodles. So I'm using this really thin noodles. It's called somyeon. So I use these all kinds of you know uh, noodle soup and also spicy mixed noodles. I always have this at home, you know, in my pantry. You guys love cold noodles in Korean naengmyeon. It's my favorite uh, noodle soup. It's a naengmyeon. So noodles are also made with buckwheat and wheat, and this is very chewy. And sometimes they come with some package inside and seasoning paste or a seasoning powder. You can make broth with this package inside the powder and then just uh, uh, eating. There is a direction how to make it and also my website, I have a really good recipe so you can find. This is my favorite brand. And this mulengmyeon has that you can feel. This is uh, like a liquid inside, it's not powder. So easily you can mix with water. Not only water, add pear juice or apple juice. Really tasty. This is a sweet potato starch noodles. It's a dangmyeon. It's called dangmyeon. So see, dangmyeon. All these noodles are made with sweet potato starch. People call this also glass noodles. Uh, when you make japchae, japchae stir-fried noodles with vegetables and that kind of meat, you know, really tasty. And also I make yachae hot dog. It's a hot dog filled with some you know, vegetables and noodles. I use these noodles. You can buy any brand. This section is a powder. I always use a potato starch. It says that potato starch, easily you can find. This is a mung bean, mung bean jelly. It's a mung bean starch. You can see the mung bean starch. When you go to Korean restaurant, uh, sometimes you see they like a jelly and square shape. You don't know what is made with, but you buy this one package and you can make a huge, huge amount. Whenever I make a rice cake or a pan fried, you know, some uh, sweet, chewy rice cake, I use this because uh, easy, very convenient. So, mochiko. Yakirum garu. Yakirum is a uh, barley malt, barley malt powder. So, when I make gochujang, I use this. When I make a rice punch called shikhe, I need this. Malt powder, malt powder. You can see. This is bean powder, soybean powder. It's a, there are two types, raw soybean powder. This is a toasted soybean powder. Toasted, toasted one is uh, nutty. Usually when I make some kind of injolmi Korean rice cake and coated with some nutty kind of a soybean powder, this is so toasty, it has to be toasted one. Sometimes my readers ask me, which one do I have to use? And this is roasted soybean powder. So you can, you can see the difference. Canned food, canned food, I just use this uh, kind of mackerel pike. Oops, mackerel pike. And uh, I use this uh, kimchi jjigae. When I make a kimchi stew, instead of using pork, I sometimes use this. Or uh, mackerel, mackerel, we use this. And also what I use is, it's a golbengi. It's a kind of a whelk, kind of a sea snail. Really delicious and chewy and sweet. And it's already cooked. You can open and you can eat it. But you slice this and then mix it with noodles and spicy paste. It's really Korean's favorite dish, golbengi muchim. So golbengi. And next, when I posted my recipe curry rice, some of my Indian readers, they just was gave me a hard time. Mangchi, I thought that you are going to mix this same mixture, the curry powder, you make your own curry powder. No, not like that. In Korea, only one product. This curry already packaged. So this is otugi kare is my favorite. Mild, hot, medium. Stir fry some vegetables and meat. And then later, just you mix this with water and then pour this stirring together and then make the kind of yellow, nice, but beautiful vegetable feel. You pour this on rice, steamy rice, and then eat. Really tasty. It's a kare rice. So you can make a kare rice with this. When I make multi grains, I just pick up this, a few, and then I make it at home. And then I use hyunmi chapsal, brown, 
sweet rice. You know, sweet rice is a glutinous rice. So brown sweet rice. And I use this and also uh, bori, barley. Uh, barley is, uh, you know, barley here you can find. If you don't like a really glutinous rice, it's too sticky, and then you can use just the brown rice. Some people ask me, oh, Mangchi, how can you make your rice, multigrain rice, purple color? Actually, it's a black rice. Here, black rice. Don't use too much. Just add just one tablespoon for around one cup of white rice. And then color changes to really beautiful purple color when rice is done. Good nutrients it has. Okay. And next, this is a, uh, red beans, azuki beans. You know, I make a porridge with this. I make some rice cake with this. And you can find it easily in Korean grocery store. <laughs> I'm taking off. A little hot. This is soybeans, dried soybeans. Make meju, Korean doenjang, Korean fermented bean paste, you gotta use. This is soybeans, very important in Korean cuisine. And this is mung beans, green small, so you can sprout very easily at home. How to sprout mung beans? Actually, check out my website. It's very easy and you will have a really, really lot of fun. So, whole mung beans. When I make the pindet duck, it's a mung bean pancake. I use this, very easy. This is also mung beans, but already hurt. The skins are gone. So color is very beautiful yellow. So I just uh, soak this with uh, glutinous rice and then grind. And then just mix with you know, meat and all vegetables and then just pan fry. That's uh, like a delicious, delicious pindet duck you can make. You know, the Korean seaweed paper, you know, I don't like that weed, the name is weed, because it's such a really delicious, you know, sea vegetable. You, somebody should change the name, but everybody called this, you know, seaweed, so what else can I do? I gotta follow them, right? So anyway, this is a seaweed paper, and kim, in Korean kim. You can see the kim pam yong goon kim. So roasted seaweed, roasted seaweed. This is when you make a kimbap, you can uh, seaweed rice rolls, you can use this. Or this is uh, not roasted, just like a dried, dried seaweed paper. You can make this kimbap too. So you just uh, toast slightly. And also uh, this kind of kim is that, you know, package is uh, already oiled and also salted. So this is very crunchy and uh, like uh, people call this like uh, seaweed chips. You can just uh, take it out and you can eat it. I'm sure that you guys know this. When you make a triangle gimbap, you can just use this one easily. You can open it and then there is a direction and direction, you follow the direction, you can make this. So, so I have a recipe on my website if you want to make. So this gim, usually I prefer uh, not toasted one, untoasted raw gim, dried gim. So I use this kind of gim. Or sometimes when you make rice cake soup, you just uh, toast, make it crunchy, crispy, crush this, and then put this on top of your rice cake soup, and the flavor really enhanced. Miyeok is the very important in Korean cuisine. You know why? Everybody's birthday, you gotta make this soup. Miyeok soup, miyeok guk. So miyeok guk is, uh, you know, kind of make Koreans very emotional in Korea. You know, when a woman is like having baby, for one month, you need to take a rest at home and then keep eating miyoko. See, miyo. I can open this. <laughs> I use my teeth, so my readers are laughing. <laughs> no time to find the seizures. See, look at that. So easily breakable like this, right? So this is a uh, miyeok, dried miyeok. Tashima, tashima, tashima. Also here, tashima. Always check the back. Dried kelp. Also, don't worry about this white stuff on surface. So this is, uh, you know, good. So you don't have to wash it before using. Because this is when it's dried, really all delicious kind of umami kind of flavor dried, all these things. So use this. For which kind? 
Which kind? Um, she has a really good question. She asked me, which one is a good Tashima? I choose thick, thick one. Because when you're thick and very kind of sturdy looking, if this is a thick, it has a lot of, a lot of savory taste inside. That's why I choose always a thick one. Like this, I think they're very thin compared to this. This guy is like some, look like a dried fish, you know. So I will choose this one. All dried vegetables, dried vegetables. You guys just came to my website and I have like more than 300 recipes so far. I haven't used all these dried vegetables yet. So that means that I have so many recipes not yet, you know, posted. But gosari, probably you heard that. So gosari, because I used, uh, you know, many recipes. I gotta be violent. <laughs> Just uh, my mistake, I didn't bring my scissors today. I brought my knife, but forgot to bring my scissors. So this is, it says uh, dried bracken. Dried bracken. You can use any, any brand. When you see this, so gosari, oh, nice, beautiful, look like a bouquet, right? You see, gosari, very well dried. And look like a really thin wire, but when it's plumped, soaked in water, boiled in hot water and soaked, it's going to be really expand a lot. And turned into so tasty, meaty kind of a texture. All these dried vegetables, you don't have to keep in the refrigerator, keep them in the pantry, dry and cold place. See the inside. Inside there is a lot of broken thing, you know, don't buy this. And also, this is a bellflower root. Bellflower roots actually original look like ginseng, sliced it and made it strips and dried. So this is a toraji. I can soak in water like you know several hours. After that, just uh, I can cook or just eat. It kind of make a salad mixed with the Korean seasoning, really tasty. You can also make a tea with this. Just uh, good for your cough. You know, when your baby is coughing, and then you just uh, put this and with the water and keep, keep boiling. And then add some uh, honey and then just uh, drink. When you choose doraji, also choose a thick one. So I, I don't like the really thinly sliced shredded one. I have to plump this by soaking in cold water. After that, all delicious stuff is gone if this is too thin. So I choose a thicker one, okay? So this is bellflower roots, dried bellflower roots. My website has a really good list of Korean grocery stores worldwide. All the information about each store was submitted by my readers. So all information is very correct and reliable. Check it out if you have a Korean grocery store in your area. Whenever I travel foreign country, I need to Korean cooking. I come to my own website and then to see the grocery store and then I go.